So good to be with you today. I want to encourage you to turn in your Bibles to the book of Jonah. We're going to be in Jonah for a handful of weeks, and uh, you probably have read this book. It's for sure uh, an exciting story and one that is really applicable to our lives. So today we're in Jonah chapter 1, and the Bible says in verse 1, Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, the son of Amittai. You know, I think um, obviously these are kind of verses that we have the tendency just to run through, but uh, I just want to pause today on that phrase, the word of the Lord came to Jonah. It's an amazing thing, I think, that God desires to speak to his people. Now, of course, Jonah was a prophet. Jonah had a, a very specific ministry calling to the children of Israel, but, but the beauty of the New Testament is that God does love to impart his word to his people, and I think that sometimes we can take that for granted, can't we? Sometimes, you know, because we're used to that type of terminology, we talk about the Word of God all the time. Uh, we think uh, about how God speaks to us. This is just the beauty of our relationship. But sometimes it can become so common that uh, we miss the privilege. We miss the privilege. You know, God's Word came to Jonah at a very challenging time for the nation of Israel. And frankly, as we're going to see in a little bit, it wasn't really a word that Jonah wanted to hear. In fact, uh, the word was not met with obedience. Maybe as a prophet, Jonah had heard the word of God so many times that, you know, he just felt like he had the latitude in his life to, to uh, be disobedient, to not receive God's word and to apply it to his life. Um, but what we're going to see is, number one, not only is it a privilege that God speaks to us, I want to encourage you today as you're in the Word, maybe as you're sitting under a teaching, perhaps as you're engaging in a conversation with another Christian, and you know the Holy Spirit just speaks to your heart, man, never take that for granted. Never take that for granted. Always consider it just a, a, a blessed privilege that the God of the universe would want to speak to you. And then in addition to that, um, you know, there are times where the context of our lives is not always easy to hear what it is that God has to say. But there is a clear expectation that God has for us that when he speaks to us, we're going to respond in alignment. You know, we're going to br bring our lives in congruence to what he has spoken to us. We really don't have the freedom I mean, God may give us that freedom in the sense of we have a choice to make, and so we can choose A or we can choose B, but the truth is we should always be selecting obedience as an expression of worship to God. Has God spoken to you recently? Has he been giving you a word, pressing something upon your heart? Maybe it's come in a difficult moment. The context is challenging. I want to encourage you to consider it a privilege to have the God of the universe lovingly speak to your heart. And then I want to encourage you to apply it, to be quick, to apply what he speaks to your life as an expression, not just of your obedience, but of loving obedience. Father, we thank you that you speak to us. And we pray as we have these moments in the book of Jonah, God, that your Holy Spirit would just reveal your will to us and God give us wisdom and guidance and decisions that we have to make, correct us and encourage us, whatever it is, God, that you want to speak, we want to obey. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.